12. Is 25 times 12. Now, remember, when you have an answer in your head, you're going to put a thumb underneath your chin. That means you have one way of solving it. If you have a second way of solving it, you're going to put two fingers up, a third way, a fourth way. Some of you may think of new ways as we're doing it, and that's fine. So I'm going to be quiet, and we're all going to think about the answer for a second. Who has a solution for this problem? Thumb under. Hey guys, come join us. Thumb under if you have a solution. Sam, what'd you get? 300. I got 300. Someone have a different answer. Everybody had the same. What'd you have, Jack? Uh, I. No, I got 300. 300. All right. Who has a strategy that they'd like to share? Um, Tyler. Five times five. Or yeah, five times five. Times three times four. Okay, keep going. And then uh, first I do five times five, which is twenty-five, and then I um, times that by three, multiply it by three to get um, seventy-five, and I multiply that by four to get three. How did you do seventy five times four? Well, I did, first I did 75 times 2, and okay. I knew that was 150. Okay, down here. You did 75 times 2 equals 150, all right? Mm -hmm. And then I, I have to, uh, have to multiply by another 2. Because? Because I split 4 to do 2 times. Really cool. Really cool. Now, question. Does anybody have a question for Tyler to make it a little bit more efficient? Or a strategy can make Claudia? Um, well, when you did the 3 times 4, and then you did 25 and 25 times 4, it got me to 100. Oh, okay. Claudia, go ahead and explain that to me. That's what I would So you write it. How many people agree with that? I was going to say, you wouldn't even have to decompose this to 5 times 5. That's what I was saying. You could just do 25 times 3 times 4, oh, right? No, I just said 25 times 4. Okay. Go ahead, Claudia. So you write it out. Tell me. Five times five times three times four. Okay. And then we do twenty-five times four. Okay, but do we have to do twenty-five times five? Do you see my point? Yes, you don't right. have to pull out this five. You can yeah. just take this twenty-five and, and use the twenty-five. That makes it more efficient. Okay, now what, Claudia? And then we multiply it by four. What property allows me to multiply by four rather than three? George? Commutative the commutative property. property. All right, so I get what, Claudia? Uh, then what's my next step, Claudia? And then you multiply 100 times uh, 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 so, uh, Oh, but I'm going to the easier way. Okay. I'm, I'm a, what about 25 times 2 times 6? Okay, talk me through that, please. Um, well, we could do, first, I know that 25 times 2 is 50. And then I want to make it easier, so I'm going to divide the 50 by 10 to get a solid 5. To get down to your 5, okay. Okay. And then I'm going to do 5 times 6, which I know equals 30. And then I'm going to... Multiply the 10 back on to get 300. Okay, because you divided it yeah. here. Okay, so we we turn 50 into five. 10 groups, which equals 5. Now we're going to add those 10 groups back. Get to 300. Excellent. 300. Oh. All right, so I'm going to have another strategy. I'm going to extend the page if I can. It's not going to let me extend the page, is it? Oh, oh, is it? Yeah. What do we have? Philip. Um, I'm going to uh, decompose 12 into yeah. 10 and 2. Okay. So we have 10 plus 2 or 10 times 2? 10 plus 2. Okay. And what are we going to do to 10 plus 2? Well, I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 10 and I'm going to, 
then what else are you going to do after that? What are you going to do after that? So you're going to take 25 times 10. And I'm going to put front. it off for me? And um, 25 plus 10. I mean, 20 times 10 equals 250. Got it. And 25 times 2 equals 50. And oh, add them together and get your What strategy is this called? Yes, sir. Pressure products. Start pressure products oh, strategy. Okay. Can someone do a compensation? Wait. Compensation? Sam? 25 times Okay, so oh, Sam's going to start with 25 <laughs> times 10 equals 250. Okay. So what? how many groups of what do we still have left to consider? Two. Groups of what? This is 12. Two groups of 12? We started out with 25 groups of 12. You've pulled out, t I'm sorry, we started with 12 groups of 25. You've pulled out 10 groups of 25. How many more groups do we need? Oh, okay. <laughs> we, so what's the, what's the multiplication problem? 25 times 2 or 2 times 25, which equals 50. 50. We're going to add to get our 300. All right.